so today Flick came out with Mummy. We've been to the post office. We've posted Amelia now off to her mummy. I've just been and picked up Grumpy's prescription. And it's really busy down the doctors today because in England they're really ramping up and the COVID boosters because that seems our best line of defense against this new Omicron or whatever it's called, um, strain of Corona. So they're really ramping up. So it's really, really busy here today. Yeah, um, the aim is to get um, the whole country to be, have had their booster by, by the end of the year. I mean, that's a task in itself, isn't it? But over um, half a million, I think, were, test were done in the first afternoon or something like that when the Prime Minister announced it. So anyway, as I've been telling you through my videos this week, I've got mine on Friday night um, in one of the bigger towns. Booked that like a few months ago because, no, booked it last month because Russ, Russ was, we were going to have them done together because Russ hates going to anything like that. And now he's got to work. So he will be away. And I really don't want to go out at seven o'clock at night. Oh, once I'm in, I'm in. <laughs> oh, there's a red robin. Hello, Mr. Robin. Hello, Dad. Oh, did you see that, Mr. Robin, everybody? Um, yeah, so I had to post Amelia off this morning and an Amazon package. And I can't, there's no way I could carry Amelia very far because... She was like five kilograms in the box and everything that I sent her with. So, and he did a push chair, so I thought I'd bring this little smiler out today with me. <laughs> and the lady in the post office, I've never taken any in there before. And she said, um, not in that post office. And she said, oh, she looks just like a doll. She's so cute. <laughs> I said, oh, she is a doll. And she went, she is, isn't she? I said, no, she is a doll. <laughs> she couldn't get over her. She really couldn't get over her. Oh, there we go. Oh, and the bin men come today. And these paths in this little town, this little village, town, I don't know what you call it really. Town, I suppose, another small town. Has such narrow pathways I would show you but there are a lot of people walking up there we go this is like the main street and then you go down to the left and there's a little bit more down to the left They do such cute displays though in these little villages, I love them. Antique shop. <laughs> this is a health food shop. It's really, really nice in here. They always have a fantastic display as well. And chemist. What are you looking at? What are you looking at over there? The lights? The twinkly lights? Thank you. It's very narrow. <laughs> and hardware shop here as well. Mummy's just going to pop in the charity shop scenes we're here. Well, Flick and I are home now. Look at her hair where she had her jacket on. She enjoyed her little time out with Mama, didn't you? Yeah, we did lots of shopping. <laughs> we just supported charity 
this morning. <laughs> There's one charity I particularly like to go to, which is Hospice Care, because my dad went into a hospice in the uh, final stages of his cancer. And um, so I do, do like to support that charity. And um, so there are three charity shops in, the, in that small town that we were in. I don't know if you call it a large village or a small town. I'm not sure. <laughs> But um, it's really another nice area. So I like, kind of like live between these little villages and now I'm close to one big town. So um, you're looking in the camera. You're looking at yourself. Oh, now you see Millie, did you? Did you see Millie? Yeah, she's down there, isn't she? Yeah, you want to get down and play? She's going to do a bum shuffle because she doesn't crawl. <laughs> she tries to move herself along. I think she'll be proper bum shuffling soon. Yeah. Right, I'm going to show you what we got. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to, they're not included. I just got to write them. They're the last few cards, but they don't need to be posted. All right, okay, let's uh, move it down a little, little bit. So one of my favourite artists is Trevor Mitchell, and I do have his calendar down in Hillside for next year because he draws vintage, all these vintage... Um, designs. Look at it. Isn't it lovely? And I, and I, in Wales, I um, got up on a bus like this in Wales. And the um, post van reminds me of John, who passed last year from COVID. And this is just typical village life for me with the cows and that. But th there are four pieces of 500. Uh, Magic of the Seasons, it's called. And the man couldn't guarantee that it was all there. But um, it seems to be because it's all in bags. So we'll find out. What a shame if it's not. But never mind. See, so you can see it's the same cottage throughout all of the seasons. Isn't that lovely? I love that. Um, oh, that's something. That's a food grumpy. I thought this little bear needed to come home with us. Look at him. He's really soft, but and he's blue. And he's got a blue hat on, blue scarf, and blue boots. And he'll go nicely with the blue cover that I've been using, that I bought for uh, the Christmassy light cover that I have been using on the babies. So I thought he looks really cute. This is Lady from Lady and the Tramp. Um, from the Disney, it is from the Disney store. And uh, I think this is a pound. Yeah, look at her. She's lovely. I will wash them. But she is lovely. My um, eldest daughter might pinch her if she spots her. I don't know. My eldest daughter loves all the plushies. I got this just as a extra decoration. It's like the old style, like velvety decorations that we had when I was a kid. So it's, um, I'm going to put that down in the guest room. Frankie wanted one of these decorations the other day. And uh, I managed to find one today in the charity shop new for 150 So I picked it up for her. I don't think it's going on a tree. She just wants to use it probably with the doll's house, I expect. Um, and that was a uh, cardigan there. Okay, so now I've got some clothing items. Look at this cardigan, folks. Look at that. Auntie Rachel, I'll bring you up a bit. Auntie Rachel, look at that. We've got hedgehogs on this cardigan. Isn't that cute? Oh my God, look at the buttons as well. They're all different colours. So it's an oatmeal colour cardigan with a hood. And it is like, it's, it has got a, like a fleecy, warmy hood. It's from m and Co. And it was £2. Look at that. It's so sweet. So obviously, this is all has to be washed. But I had, um, that look nice on Felicity. Um, and then I got, got another stocking to add to our stocking collection. He's like an elf. Um, what was he? Two pounds, I think. Yeah, two pounds. And he's got. Oh, he's looking after something inside. 
He's looking after some gold tinsel. I wanted that for the front of the van. And look what I got. Look at her. I couldn't resist her. Look, she's praying. She's got her Bible. She is porcelain. Oh, no, she's not. She's bone china. Moments by Colport. Amen. Bone china made in England. Look at her. She hasn't got any chips or nicks or anything on her. But I just love the fact that she's praying with her Bible. Oh, it's adorable. I really, so that'll go down into Hillside. Is there anything else in you? No, there's nothing else in that one. And then I bought my daughter, uh, my middle daughter, a really expensive necklace yesterday from John Lewis. Um, and it didn't even come in a box. I'm really like gutted. It's one of her collectors. She collects the designer bags of this woman. My middle daughter is handbag and books crazy. So um, she collects her bat handbags and I thought, um, well, I'll get her a necklace from this designer. And it didn't even come with a box. I was like, I was really, really stunned. So for a joke, so I was looking around for a box in that today. And so for a joke, I got this bag because it comes in a like a little like dust bag. This um, necklace comes in a little dust bag. And then I was really worried. I thought, it's so delicate. And I was like, won't the chain get all tangled up in that? And so she wrapped it up really nicely. So um, my daughter will have to be careful how she opens it. But then, so it's coming in a dust bag. And so I thought, I need something to put the dust bag in. And then I saw this. Now, my daughter traditionally made biscuits. It's obviously one that's been given to somebody at some point in Christmas time. And I... Don't make biscuits. She'll think I've just given her a bag of biscuits. I know it. She will. She bakes as well. So she is a, she bakes every weekend. She makes something. So, um, she'll think I've just made her some biscuits. Well, it won't be. She'll open it up and she'll have her designer necklace inside. But guys, what do you think about that? I was like, I cannot believe, I was like, do you not even have a gift box then? Or if she was like, no, no. And then, do you remember I've got those t those candles that I bought from Wales I keep saying I need some little holders for? Well, they had these down there, and I think they were, yeah, £2 for the four. And I'm hoping, let's check, shall we? I'm hoping that the little candles that I've got will fit in that. Oh, no, they look a little bit big. Oh, no. No, they will fit in there. Oh. I think I'll have to melt them a little bit and melt some stuff in there. Yeah, oh, because they're quite fat down there. Do you see they're how they're tapered? Oh, no. <laughs> Clumsy Caroline. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm bloody. I tell you guys, this is just, it's just me all over. I am useless. That one looks bad. <laughs> Maybe I'll just put some, get some holly and just swirl around them. <laughs> Oh my god! I tell you guys, this is this is just me all over. This really is me all. And it's not even standing up straight. So we might just have one candle on the table. <laughs> oh my god, my days! Jeez. Then I got this, which will fit either Timothy or the new guy. He eventually gets here because it'll still be chilly in the new year. But it um, is a fox. And his tail goes all the way around to the back. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And it's got non-slip feet on it. Doing well, guys, aren't I, buying um, pre-loved? And I couldn't pass this up because it's absolutely a beautiful dress. So thick, so well made. And it's just got such a cute design on it. It's Annie's size. It is absolutely beautiful. Navy blue with all of these, all of this autumn, winter design all over it. I love it. And and it is, um, it's lined as well. So that is cute. And I like the sleeves that are long. And what else did I get? Oh, I got um, just a pair of denim looking jean leggings for Felicity. Um, 
because we don't have any denim or anything for her. So I just got that. And then found this. This will go in a grumpy stocking. I think this was 50p, I think. It says, it's an avocado and it says, let's have a, let's have a cuddle. Let's have a cuddle. <laughs> just something fun to go in his stocking. I love stockings. Stockings are like the best bit of Christmas. <laughs> Do you have stockings? We always have stockings and then we have main presents later. Um, I got a few more decorations. These are just to put down in hillside. So I got this. This is Santa holding this um, tub and I'm just going to put some little treats or something in there. I thought that's nice. So I've got down there to decorate at some point. And I got this. This is three to six months. So this will fit Mason, I'm hoping. <coughs> Looks quite big. He's quite long and he's stocky. It's um, an elf suit and it says Santa's Little Helper. It is really cute. So that'll go in my Christmas stash. Just change that up this year. And I'd like to, I want to put down in the guest room some Christmas mugs. So I found this one. It's got little teddy bears dressed up as Santa. And it says, pause for thought. This is a range over here. Pause for thought is a range. If you type it into Google or Amazon, you will probably find it over here. So I just give that a real good clean out. And um, that will go down the bottom as well. And then I've got these cute earrings. Look at them. I was looking for earrings for Frankie. But they have these. And I just thought, they're Santa's suit dangly earrings. I just thought they're fun. It just looks so much fun. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. Because <laughs> I don't know. I might try and put them in my ears. We'll see. And then a bag for some stuff that I bought my daughter yesterday. So my eldest daughter. So I thought I'd get a bag. And... So I went into three charity shops. One of them was one of them was really cheap. So the, so some of the stuff you see for a pound, is what I got from in there, so like this. This is brand new baby bathrobe, warm and cozy. It's a hippo, and it is aged nine to twelve months. So this will be for Timothy or my new guy. A pound. It's brand new. There you go. <laughs> Oh, look at the teeth. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I don't, couldn't resist that either. Could you for a pound? I mean, goodness me. And then I got some jewellery. I found this jewellery set for a pound. And it's got, it's five pieces. It's got a little elf. I think it's bracelets. I think they're all bracelets, I think. It's got this one with a little bauble on. This red one, this little heart in red. And then a, a red stretchy one with a, like a pretend diamond on it. And then just a plain one. Oh, that's got a bit of thread attached to it. And then I think this one, oh no, it's not a plain one. It's got Santa on it. <laughs> there he is. He's, he's hiding around the corner. So I thought I could put that in Frankie's stocking. She would love that. Or I might just give it to her now. We'll see. Because so we've got a lot of family here. I've been looking at games. So I got this game. It's called Sust. It was a pound and it says, As you read aloud a series of real and imaginary scenarios, you will be given choices to make. What will you do? Would others know? So it says things like, what would I most want to do? Skydiving, llama trekking or archery? Um, my thing would be llama trekking. <laughs> Me and my daughter were going to do that. and um, But then COVID hit. So, yeah, I just think it's just fun. It's just fun talking around the table, kind of like questions. And that was only a pound, as you can see as well. And I've been trying to get into reading again. Um my memory is, um, you know, has, has not been that good. Since I had a, um, uh, the mental breakdown, I, um, I call it my brain fart. 
I I used to be reading all of the time, just like my daughter's, and um, I haven't, but I picked this one up for 50p today. So I'm going to try and see if I can get back into my reading. <laughs> I've got some more tinsel. That's got to go down the bottom, down to the guest room. I've got something fun for my daughter. I hope all the pieces are there. If not, it'll be fun, won't it? It is... A pocket jigsaw with plastic. Oh, it's supposed to have plastic tweezers. Oh, it's got plastic tweezers in it. <laughs> Look at the size of them. Oh, God, that's so tiny. Um, how many pieces was it? I can't remember. Does it say? It's of, it's of France. It's 150 pieces. It's of Marcel's France. Tiny that is. So I got that for a pound, and I will just put that in my eldest daughter's stocking <laughs> for a bit of fun. Oh my god, guys, look at this what I found. A collector's spoon from Beatrix Potter. Squirrel Nutkin. One pound fifty. What a bargain. Looks like it needs a real good clean up. Can you see the patina on that? <laughs> oh, somebody was selling these little handmade decorations by the charity shop. So I got this one. A little doggy. Cute, isn't she? <laughs> I don't know why I said she, but to me, she's a she. <laughs> so I got myself that up. I think we're nearly there. Oh, yeah, I got this. Years and years ago, I used to collect Lilliput Lane years ago when my girls were small. And I bought one the other day. My daughter picked it up for me secondhand, and it has a um, post fan and that on it. And it reminded me of John, and it's gone down to Hillside. But look at this one. This cottage is just all covered in snow. Which is what us in, in English, you know, mostly envision winter to be like, even though it's not like that anymore. It is really warm down in Somerset this week. Isn't that cute? No nicks. I couldn't see any nicks or damage to it. It was one pound and it's called Snow Place Like Home Collection. Look at those snowmen. The detail is amazing. I love miniatures. <laughs> that will go down in Hillside. It won't get packed away. Um, and then for down in um, the guest room, I got some hand wash gingerbread from Avon. But it was in the charity shop. Brand new. Just a gingerbread one for a pound. Seeing as we've got people to staying down there. And then last but not least... Hang on, guys. Okay, last but not least is this little girl. Look at her. She tumbles. She's a tumbling girl. She works. Oh, you can see she's bent over there. She's getting ready to tumble. So um, I will wash her clothes and everything. But she was a bargain at two pounds. I will show you how she works. She needs a clean up. She needs her hair washing because it's like, Look, it's got stuff in it. She does need her hair washing, but she works. That's amazing. And I'm so chuffed. Has anybody seen one of these before? I mean, she reminds me of the tumble dolls that we used to have in the 70s. Um, she's 2002, I think. 2000 and... Yeah, she's a 2002 doll. So she's not old. Well, she's old because we're coming up to 2002 now, aren't we? So 20 years. But um, look at her, she's amazing, I love her. <laughs> anyway, there we go guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Getting closer to Christmas now. Yes we are, we'll see you in the next video. <laughs>